Hey everybody, Jim D here from Pure Jeevan. Today we are in South Park at the Duck Pond. And um, this is a typical place that you might go in the summertime. Some of your friends might call and, and ask you, hey, let's go to, you know, insert park of your choice. And uh, of course, most of them might not be raw foodies and they're gonna ask you to come and, you know, what happens? Do you get all nervous and say, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna eat? Well, today we put together a quick show for you. And what we wanna do is just show you that it's, it's really not that big of a deal. All you need to do is grab some stuff super fast, it only takes a few minutes, throw it in a bag, and you don't even need a cooler. So, I mean, that's, that's one of the key points here. Uh, Wendy told me not to forget to say that. No refrigeration required. So what we did is we went through our kitchen today, and as you can see, we just took two of our little uh, reusable grocery bags here and chocked it full of, chocked them full of fruits and vegetables. None of these fruits and vegetables uh, will go bad even after several hours sitting out in a, in a bag wherever you can stash it. I mean, don't put it somewhere hot, of course, but you know, just, just leave it, you know, put it in a cool place until you're ready to eat it. We, you know, we got some peppers, some tomatoes, some radishes, we got some of these pickling cucumbers, avocados, carrots, and then we got a bunch of fruits that we can make a fruit salad out of. You don't have to make anything out of this stuff. You can just eat it whole. I mean, raw foodies do that all the time. You, people mono meal on bananas and they, they do it on, uh, on other fruits and vegetables uh, as well. So, you know, you don't have to, but of course we like to, uh, you know, make some kind of a, maybe a fruit salad or some, a vegetable salad. So we're gonna, um, I just want to show you what we brought. Really, it's just some bottled water and some fruits and vegetables. This is all things that, these are all things that you probably have laying around your kitchen. And so what we're gonna do is uh, put this on pause and we're gonna come up with a couple of recipes uh, just sort of on the fly here. And just to demonstrate the fact that you don't need to make a big deal out of this. It's not, it's not something you need to be scared of if, if uh, you're gonna go on this raw foods path and think to yourself, oh my God, what am I gonna eat when everybody else goes out and has their picnics? Well, you, you don't do anything different. It's just the food you eat is a little different. You're not eating prepared foods. Matter of fact, it's even easier. It's easier that you don't have to make your you know, macaroni salad like everyone else is making and so forth. You're just really kind of throwing some stuff in and you're gonna have a good time doing it. That wasn't funny. And here are the South Park Ducks. Wow, that duck really got that kid. This is shocking. Okay, so here I am at the picnic table, and we have some exciting things to show you. Come on up, Wendy, let's take a look at what we did. Uh, well, I say we, it's mostly Wendy's inventions here, of course. We put together three things. One is a whole foods tray. This is just a tray of food you can leave out. You know, we brought all this stuff anyway, so we just threw a little bit of, e of everything onto a tray. And this is what you could use just to snack on during the time when all your other friends are snacking on hot dogs and hamburgers and things. Um, but we do make a couple of dishes. This one is a fruit salad. What we did is we took a little bit of all the different fruits we brought. Uh, cherries, nectarines, grapes, bananas, blueberries. Uh, I forget what else all is. And then we took an orange and we squeezed the orange all over it, put some orange juice on it. I think we actually put in some coriander powder just for uh, some interesting flavor. I think we also squeezed a little lemon on. Uh, mix it all up and you have yourself a great fruit salad. And you may be looking at this thinking, oh, if it's just me going and I'm the only raw foodie, you know, I'm not gonna make that much fruit salad. Well, I need to tell you a couple things. First of all, yes, you do need to make this much fruit salad and this much vegetable salad and, and all this. You need to bring a lot of fruit. And that's for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's all, you know, this is, this is all you're gonna eat. You don't want to run out of food. Um, you're going to be eating on this while you're out the whole time. I had another reason, but this, the other thing I wanted to say was that this food, you look at this food, you naturally want to eat this. And that's not just for raw foodie people, it's for everyone. So what's going to happen is you're going to go to your cookout, and everybody's going to have their hamburgers and hot dogs and everything, and then they're going to see that and they're going to be, oh, that looks like a pretty good salad. I think I want to try some of it. Do you mind if I try that? I don't usually eat this kind of stuff, but uh, it looks pretty good. Next thing you know, you know, everybody and their brother is reaching into this bowl and you don't have anything left. So, you need to bring enough to share. Um, and hey, it's, it's only good for the other people, so you might as well do it anyway. Um, but it can be frustrating if you run out. So bring, make more than you need. You can always bring it home, it's not gonna go bad. Same for the vegetable salad. People are gonna say, oh, that looks pretty good, look at that. Of course it does, it's uh, sliced up whole veggies. It's got, uh, we put some 
I don't know if we put garlic in, we brought some garlic. I like to eat garlic, but it does have some cayenne pepper in it. And we put some thyme in there, and then we squeezed a lemon over all of this and mixed it up. Um, Wendy's a, a big fan of avocados, so she put those around the side, and she'll eat those, and I'll eat the other stuff. Um, and salt. Oh, and salt. Yes, and salt. I don't think we put any salt in this one, right? Wendy? We didn't, but we did put salt in it. So there's a couple of quick dishes. It literally took us 10, 15 minutes to make this whole, this whole assortment you see here. Uh, what we don't eat, we can easily bring home and eat later. And like I said, if you're at a cookout, people are going to uh, mooch off you a little bit. But that's okay. It helps spread the word. And, uh, and so it's all good. Okay, and we're back. And the reason we're back is because I forgot to make a couple of quick points. And I'm going to make those points now. As I was talking before about the portions, okay? Another reason you want to, you want to bring a large portion, in addition to what I said before, and I did say I, I forgot one, is that, um, you know, when you're, when you're trying to go raw, it's hard sometimes. You're going to be tempted by a lot of stuff. So you want to make sure you have enough to, which will help you avoid temptation. Having a lot of food will help you avoid it. Also, having a variety of tastes, which is an important reason why we brought a sweet and a more savory dish here. Okay? You're going to be tempted by different things. People are going to have their, their cakes and their cheesecakes while you have your, your, your fruit salad. They're going to have their, you know, slaw and their, you know, whatever, their hamburgers and fries and all that kind of stuff, you have your more meaty, savory, uh, hearty dish on, on, on here. So we're trying to avoid temptation, let other people discover the wonderfulness of this food, feed you to your satisfaction, and just, you know, take care of all these things at once. These things will do it. Bison. Got a bison butt shot. <laughs> bison butt. There's bison butt. There's his face. Oh, that's pretty much just his butt. Is there any bison facing our way, please? There's a little bison baby. Bison baby? Bison baby. Say that three times fast. More bison butt. And there he is. Yeah, get him at, get his There's Katie Cat playing with the Juge. Julia loves to run. And so does Katie Cat. 